In this video I will show you how to use the 20 sim editor. Let's start by making a simple model. We have a constant block from the signal sources library and from the signal block diagrams library we drag and drop a gain block and we drag and drop an integrate block. Now suppose you cannot find the block that you are looking for. You can always search for it. Type monitor and click enter. And at the lower part you see that a library signal sources signal monitor block has found. If you click on it, you will see the block. Now all the blocks are placed. We go to connection mode. The output of the constant is going into the gain block. The gain block output goes into the integral block. And the output of the integral block goes into the, sig into the signal monitor block. And our model is ready. Start the simulator. And we can run a simulation because the signal monitor block is already has a curve available. Now we go back to the editor because I want to show you the model hierarchy. We see a couple of blocks, constant, gain, integrate and signal monitor and in the model tree you see them as well. This is how we can find blocks and how we can sort and uh, put blocks together in a hierarchy. Now suppose that we are not happy with the output and want to change the model. And one of the things that we can do, still in connection mode, is click one of the signals. Now a connection point is automatically made, splitting the signal into two parts. And one of the parts we will feed back on another part. And then 20 sim will ask us do you want to have a plus minus inserted or a multiply divide block. I will choose plus minus. Then the next question is, do you want a minus sign or do you want a plus sign? I will click the minus sign. Now we have to check the model. It has changed before we can apply a simulation and then we see the new simulation results. We could decide that we want to make a new block out of parts in our model. For this we go to selection mode again, we drag a right rectangle around the blocks and in the edit menu, menu we click implode. Now a new submodel has been created with the two blocks inside. Go up again with these arrows, go up and go down, we can go through the hierarchy. You can see it here as well. We can click up model and inspect all the parts that are in our model hierarchy. And this is the way we can create block diagram models in 20sim. 